This is another book that I read a long time ago and read about half of and I've now come back to it in audiobook format. This is Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov. Um, this is a like Penguin Modern Classics edition. They did a whole series of, I think they did five or six uh, Nabokov in paperback, so nice illustration. If you're interested in Lolita covers, I also have the um, Lolita Story of a Cover Girl book, which is like a fascinating look about uh, like what goes into a cover and what um like how why this book has such uh, a rich history of, of cover art because people are trying to emphasize uh, different point of you know aspects of the novel um, and then it also has they have a whole they had a whole um series of artwork commissioned for it like my favorite some of my favorite work like i, I love this one sam weber just stunning and my favorite typographer. I want to see if I can find it to show you because it's so beautiful. Uh, but some of these are really simple and some of them are obviously very much in the artist style. Come on. There you are. This is Jessica Hish's uh, cover for Lolita, um, done in kind of ty typography lace. Uh, stunning. Anyway, that's an interesting read. Let's, uh, let's get back to the main book, Lolita. Uh, this has some really bad connotations, I feel. Anybody who's heard of, like, I feel like most people have heard of Lolita and they're like, oh, it's some kind of predatory um, man. Uh, when really, if you read it, you kind of, you can sort of empathize with him. Not, in, not that I'm like a pervert or anything, uh, but you, Although you know that this is a like horrible, disgusting man, uh, his and he knows it as well. Humbert Humbert is very uh, he's very conscious of how bad he is, but he's also trying to make the best, like not be cruel or anything. He's just kind of can't resist his urges. Um, so interesting narrative. He just is kind of over the course of probably about six years. The main part of the story takes place where he finds this girl, Lolita. Um, and kind of like gets with within her household and like then goes on this kind of whirlwind adventure with her and then how that kind of breaks up and ends up. Um, from the very beginning it's told that he is in like a state penitentiary when all of this was written. So you know that he's going to get caught and prosecuted for this at the end or for something at the end. Um, so it's like doomed from the start but you just kind of want to see what goes on in it. Um, in terms of the prose, I think this is some of the most beautiful, beautiful writing. You know, there's some, like, there's some kind of poetry where you can read and that you read and it's just like, the vocabulary is just stunning. I, I can't describe it in any other, other way. It doesn't like lose the point. It's not, it's not just pretty to be pretty and to sound nice. It's just very evocative of the mood and just some of it, like there's this poem, um, there's a poem that, the main character, Humbert Humbert, writes at the end. Um, I, I'll just, you know what, to be honest, I just want to read a part of it because I think it's beautiful. Uh, wanted, wanted, Dolores Hayes, who is Lolita. Hair brown, lip scarlet, age 5,300 days, profession none or starlet. Where are you hiding, Dolores Hayes? Why are you hiding, darling? I talk in a daze, I walk in a maze, I cannot get out, said the starling. And it's just, I read, all of the words are just so... It's just like, I want to eat it for, for its description. Um, and it's not even like particularly fanciful. It's just so like poignant. Um, I can't like, I can't even describe it as more than that. Um, I really, I just, I really enjoyed this book. I'm sure there was something more I wanted to say about it. Uh, oh, right, yeah, I am. Um, so I mentioned that I, I read part of this uh, before and just came back to an audiobook version. Um, my audiobook copy is narrated by Jeremy Irons, who's a, like a fantastic actor. Um, I really res respect him, person. Um, and he also played Lolita. Played Lolita. <laughs> he didn't play Lolita. Played Humbert Humbert in um, in the newer film Lolita. It came out. I want to say ninety six, but I don't know. Maybe it was in the eighties. Some sometime at the end of the last century. Um, so you know that he knows the plot really well, his articulation, just the way he just encompasses the character marvellously and it's all like first person perspective so that really really comes across really well in the audiobook. So if you're, if you're not like a 
reedy person and like listen to audiobooks, I recommend that Jeremy Irons version above and beyond. Um, I think I really like, I just love this. It's one of those things you're going through, you're like, oh, I want the plot to move on, or I don't really see the point in this stage we're at, but um, it kind of all comes together into this just mass of wonderfulness. Uh, I loved it. Four and a half out of five, I think, Lodita by Vladimir Nabokov.